Yeah. So, Mark, what do you reckon of our fantastic little hornbill then? Well, apparently, I am the first adult hand that has touched this. There's not been one adult hand. It's all been done by children. This is my favourite. There you go. <laughs> well, that's that? fantastic. Because the future is with the children. And I think, you know, we're the old codgers. Um, and uh, nowadays, you know, we're wheeled out of things like that. But the future for these animals, for these endangered species, is, the, is children. And I think it's fantastic that they've done this. And what a beautiful design. And, I mean, they're all looking fantastic, the sculptures out in uh, the Royal Botanic Gardens. Um, how, how important is it that you get the conservation message out through your project here, Mark? Very, very important indeed. And I think there's no better way than through these wonderful sculptures. And particularly when children do them. I think, you know, it's such a great thing that children do them because we have got very famous artists doing them. And, you know, we're very lucky to, to, to be in this. Pity about your weather. But they <laughs> love it, Scotland you for see, you, I'm they afraid. They love it. You know. I actually like to bring all the endangered species over here because they love, love it, because there's a shortage of water out there anyway. That's one of the problems of cutting down forests. But this is, this is great, and I just love the idea of children doing this. And I just love the colours on this. It's so perfect. Well, we're glad you love it. Um, the children have had a lot of fun doing it, and us as a company, Easy Space, are delighted that we were able well, to get children. Easy Space has been fantastic to us. Yeah. Yeah, they yeah. really have, and it's such a beautiful, such a beautiful hornbill. Have you ever seen a hornbill fly? No. Interesting. <laughs> they're not, the, they're quite clumsy. <laughs> and they make an awful noise, woof, woof, like this, and they almost sort of take off because they have to sort of, you know, let themselves off. But this is beautiful, love it. And what's the aim at the end of at the end of Jungle City? What are you hoping to have achieved? Uh, well, we want to raise an enormous amount of awareness, get it across to children, one of the most important things, raise over a million pounds here at the auction, and then basically Jungle City goes global. We can take it really anywhere. We'll probably go to New York next year, and then Istanbul, around the world. I think it's a concept that works really well because it involves people. You have to involve people, and I think, you know, this is Scotland's exhibition, and it's a great place to have it. It's a beautiful place. And once the map, you know, people when they when they go live on the streets on the six, I think it's going to be fantastic because people people get furious if they can't find an, an animal. They say, "Where's it gone?" You know. So it's going to be great, particularly for children. They'll find them climbing all over them.